really nice shades. I didn't wear them. Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue. And today I'm going to show you all the makeup and skincare that I took to Adelaide for two weeks with me. And I was going to film this before I left, but I realized if I filmed it after, I could tell you what I did and didn't use because I tend to overpack. So anyway, this is my makeup bag and it is from Thin Lizzy of all companies. I've never been super into their brand, but I was at Priceline ages ago and they had a sale on them. I think it's on special. And this bag, once I open it, you will see exactly why I love it. Look at it. So much storage. So this bag has an outer pocket that I sometimes use, not always. There's a pocket here. There's two big pockets so I can see everything. And yeah. So let me let me do the palettes that I took with me first. Sometimes they did live in here and they're out at the moment just because the way when I packed up. But the palettes I took with me were the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice. I didn't really use this palette that much. My sister did use it and to be honest that's part of the reason why I took it with me. I just I wanted her to play with it because I love it and I thought she would like it. I took the Sylvia Garni BH Cosmetics palette. I'll just show you the insides again. I actually really enjoyed this palette. It's a good travel one. I had a lot of fun creating a few different looks with this and I'm definitely going to spend some time and show you some of the looks um, that you can create with this and I think this is a solid palette. I also took all of my Colourpop singles. So I, yes I put stickers on there because I'm a child. Um, and this is what they look like. I didn't dip into these. I've had these singles for ages and to be honest, it's pretty rare that I dip into them. I took them to try and force myself to use them. And I like the formula. It's plenty good. And the colours I have are plenty nice. But um, I need to do something with this. I need to change these up. Let's quickly do skincare just because it's going to be quicker. So I've got a separate bag that I use for my skincare. My sister bought this for me. My Tommy Hilfiger bag. Hilfiger? Um, so I just chose to put all my skincare products in here and this is what they look like. So for me a necessity almost at this stage is a nice balm and this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I find that you really only need a very small amount of this but it's very easy to grab out too much of it. And I like this just to melt the makeup off and then after that I wipe it off, I wash my face and then I put creams on it. I'm very high maintenance. Um, this is the Alpha H sunscreen in 30F. I actually didn't use this. I used my favourite, which is in here. It might be in the makeup bag, but it's the Mecca sunscreen. I've got my lip balm from Frank Body. I really enjoy this. With its matching lip scrub. I used this like once, I think. I used the lip balm a few times. It's, it's really nice. I do have a video on all my lip balms. My lip scrubs, if you want to watch that. I took my moisturizer, so this is my Dennis Gross and the Hyaluronic All Day Eye Gel. I haven't noticed a huge difference with this one, but I am obsessed with this jar. I'm nearly finished on this fella, very close, very close, I've already got a backup. I took this, and this is the Dry Bar Oil, treatment oil for your hair, and it does do a really nice job of smoothing out your hair. And it's really good just if you're, if you've got bleach hair like I do, just to put it on the ends and kind of give it a bit of moistness back. You can see my hair's really a bit dry at the moment, but it, it needs wash. I took my all-time favourite uh, Sephora waterproof makeup remover. I love this. I use it all the time. I have bottles of it just everywhere. I took some of my face halos. I only ended up using one of them. I don't know. And... I've just got some of my, like some, what do you call them? Cloths. I've got some cloths. I can unpack this. I can put this away. Um. Alright, so let's take you into the interesting part. The part you're all here. The makeup. So, do I have anything in this pocket? So this pocket's actually really handy to put your brushes in. And I do tend to start off that way. What did I choose? Ah. My eyeliners. And lip pencils. So... I took with me my Kat Von D lip liner. This thing is amazing. It's so thin, slim, and it just lasts all day. If you put this on, it's going to be on. 
I took a NYX liner. I don't think I used this for some reason. I chose very similar colors. So when you've got a formula as bomb as Kat Von D's, you're not going to go for the other one. I took three of my eye pencils in fun colors. I got Asphyxia from Urban Decay. I took Overdrive from Urban Decay and my Marc Jacobs Sunset. I think I only ended up using this one because I did go to do a few more basic looks. I kind of feel like because I hadn't seen my family in so long, they really had some expectations of my makeup. <laughs> so I felt a bit pressured to uh, do like normal-ish looks. I think, well, I kind of just did what I want. Um, my favorite brush cleaner, the Mecca brush cleaner. I'm nearly out of that. It's lasting me ages. And I did do a video on all my favorite brushes, which I will link up. These are all the brushes I took with me. Um, would you like to know what brushes I actually used? Let me uh, just get them for you now. I used all these brushes and I didn't touch these. They can go back. They're all pretty clean. So this is my favorite foundation brush, the MAC 170. I've used this multiple times. I did do a video on my face, like and how I do my makeup base for work. I like this brush. This is my Jessup one. It's nice, soft, and it's really good for the hourglass finishing powders. That's some of my favorite. This brush is a Jessup brush, and this is the 135. I love this for putting on blush, bronzer. It just does it because it's domed. You get a really nice application. It's good. I like it. These are the brushes I used. Two of these are from Annette, uh, at Annette's Makeup Corner, and that is the Morphe M421 which is a small little packing brush. It's very cute, petite. And the Morphe E17, a very small little blendy blend. Uh, the MAC 214, which is a nice stubby brush. I love it. Um, and this is just perfect for under the eye. And my Sonia G, worker one. This brush, oh yeah, I love this brush. I love it. If you've seen my video, you know. All right, let's do some generalized base products. So of face products, this is my Mecca sunscreen. This is the bomb. Bomb diggity bomb. It's really nice. It's easy to use. It's great. MAC Fix Plus. I took that with me. I don't think I used it. I, I, I go through moods with that one. My Smashbox Primerizer uh, Primer. I really like it. It's still, this, this is still going strong. My little travel size. I'll need to get a new one soon. I got the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I just, I love the way this looks. I love the way it wears. It's perfect. I got my Maybelline, so I wore this a lot, and then I've got my Maybelline in Ivory Superstay. Don't think I ever wore this, and I wore this all the time. It's really good. My KKW Contour Stick in Light. I think I use it like maybe once, um, just when I want to do a contour, and that's standard for me, my normal practice. So I'm just going to take you through all the face products that I took with me. So I've got my Fenty Beauty. Uh, how many carrots highlighter? I really enjoy this. It's very glittery. I made my sister wear it. She hated it. It was hilarious. Um, but I love I love looking at people when they're glittery. I don't know. I enjoy seeing it on people, even if they don't like seeing it on themselves. I got my Mac Pro Longwear Soft Ochre. This is a classic. I used it a couple times. Can we have it? My Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I use this every time I put eyeshadow on when I was away. It's just the most. I have really oily eyelids and this has been the most stable formula that I've had. I think I, so I would have only really used the, that pot once. Oh, the MAC Pore Refiner Stick. It's a good product. I didn't use it once. My NARS Radiant Creamier in Vanilla. Um, this one is running out so I bought a fresh one while I was away. And in bronzers I took with me the my sample size of the Milk Chocolate Soleil in light, which is still going strong. I do kind of just want the normal packaging because it looks cool. The Butter Bronzer. I think I wore this more often just because it's lighter and it's, it wasn't as stressful to use. I find with the heavier ones sometimes, I'm just, I'm not the best at putting bronzer on. So it's, I like it to go light and I like to be able to build on it. In blushes, I took my one of my favorites from my favorite products, and this is the blush Subtle and More Coquette from Longcom. I took my Tarte blush in Pate. 
I didn't use this once. I kept the Lancome one. It just, it has my heart. I took my highlighter from NARS in Fort de France. I didn't use this once. And I took my Hourglass setting powder and my little spongy sponge to put it on. Uh, this was very useful and I used that most times I did makeup. But I find it's very high maintenance. Anyway, that's it. And of course, the creme de creme. <laughs> my Hourglass finishing powders. I really enjoy these and my sister used them while I was away. She ended up loving them. I got her this palette for her birthday. And look, I'm nearly, I'm nearly on like a little pan. How cute is that? All right, let's go into the brow products and mascara. So I took my Fenty, my Fenty fly liner. I didn't use this once. Um, I like liner. I'm just not very good at it and it stresses me out if I'm going to put it on. I like to know that I can have enough time to save whatever I did. Uh, my Anastasia dip brow and a little pointy brush to put that on. Which I only just found it's very small. Um, I use this quite a bit. I like it. It's just locks your brows in. My Benefit Pour Precisely My Brow. This is a nice brow pencil. I, I enjoy it. It's nice. And it's shiny so it's pretty. I remember to take my eyelash curler. Very important. My tiny wee one. And sadly, I had forgotten to take mascara with me, which I didn't realize till the first day I went and did all my makeup and then I got to put mascara on and I was like, where is it? Where is it? I have so many mascaras. Where am I going? So I had to go buy a new mascara. So I ended up picking up the Natio Amplify and Separate Volumizing Mascara. This um, is quite nice. I like it. It's not bad. So I don't know. It's, it's joining my collection of mascaras. And, um, yeah, I need to do a bit of a cull on the mascaras. So if you know, how do you decide what mascaras you like the best? Like, is it on wear, the way they separate the lashes, or the way that they make your lashes look? I'm still not, hmm, sure what it is that I particularly like about mascara. So I'd absolutely love if you share with me what, what it is that you love about mascara. Please uh, comment, let me know. And let's go into all the single eyeshadows. I nearly forgot that I took with me. So I took my Inglot pigment, and this is the multicolored one that I would have shown you. Um, I wore it, and I don't know why I keep buying this color. <laughs> I'm gonna do a video separately about this particular, these particular shades, the chrome shadows. Um, it was nice. It's a pigment. It's a pain in the ass to put on. Mm, I didn't use it again. My Tarte Frosé Cream Shadow. I keep taking this with me places thinking I want to wear it. But then I remember it's a cream and that it doesn't always wear the best. So I don't wear it. And I took two of my Enchanted Lush Jewel Cosmetics. Um, I didn't take them with the intention of wearing them. I didn't wear them. I just wanted to make everyone that I know smell them. So I find the smell quite strong and I got my sister in law to smell them she said it smells like makeup and my sister she said it smelled fine so it, it's just me but if you have your entire last year cosmetics I'd love to know what do you think of the smell I think I'm probably the only one who's bothered by it but they are beautiful shades nonetheless all right and lip products for some reason I packed a lot of these. Well no I know. I just was grabbing them. But I could have grabbed mascara. It would have been a lot easier on my whole life. I had more mascaras. Oh, I forgot. So this one looks like a lip product, but this is the Sydney Grace Cream Shadow, and I chose to take the colour Boardwalk, which I didn't use, so let's uh go swatch through. This is it here. It's very pretty. These last really well. There's a really, really old video that's really terrible on my channel of me wearing those for a long time. I might do a new video with them and see. I'm still figuring myself out in post New Year. <laughs> so I hope you stay. Um, so two of my lips that I took with me in bullet forms. This is there's some basic nudes. Uh, ColourPop. Big Break and my MAC 
in apricot gold. They're really nice shades. I didn't wear them. The only shade I did wear was Romeo, One Day from Jeffree Star Lips. I just, I really like Scott. It's a very bold in your face color, but I enjoy it. It's nice. And Sugar Cookie from the Too Faced Christmas set. It was amazing. Those are the two that I took. And of those, um, about five I didn't wear. Or six. So I would taken some more of my Too Faced Melted Matte Colors, which I didn't wear. I took Cubby from Sugar Peel and I took Coral Fixation from Jeffree Star, uh, which I didn't wear. But I had fun. Anyway, this is what it looks like when it's empty. I'm very excited that I've now shared it with you and I can pack all my makeup away. And I can go back to feeling like I have, you know, at least my makeup station together. I've got to fix up all this shit behind me that's on my list. I had a really great Christmas and I hope you enjoyed seeing what was in my travel makeup bag. I'm going to, we're going overseas the end of March so I'm gonna, I'll have to be a bit more selective when I pack for that trip because well, I felt I just put everything I wanted in this one. So I'm gonna spend a lot more time curating a good travel bag for that. This was hmm what's the best way to describe it this, oh I forgot sorry I never travel without the spray the Urban Decay D Slick spray it's amazing it's the bomb I love it if you're oily it's, it's just the best spray anyway <laughs> so I'm gonna spend some more time trying to curate like the ultimate makeup travel bag for that trip I, this is definitely giving me some more thoughts about the products I should take with me and the perfect travel palette for me what that would be let me know if you have any tips for your travel bags and how you roll with what you do. I'd love to hear them. I've... yeah. And my sister was eyeing this bag off, so if you know a bag that's similar to this, like, let me know. I might get that for her. I haven't seen these again in the price line since I bought them. It's just... it's ended up being really good. I'd love to know what your makeup travel fails are, like uh, forgetting mascara, like I did. Or what your favourite things are to take? What's something that you think I'm missing from this collection? Uh, I feel like I covered most bases, to be honest. Anyway, let me know any of your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're new here, I'd absolutely love it if you consider subscribing. And for just watching this, I appreciate and adore you. You're amazing. Mwah.